Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with our reworked Jund Anvil list. We're going to be putting in a bit of a reanimator theme with it since we are running a Troxa. Unfortunately we don't draw our second land here. We'll get our research desk, trigger the wormlet, and attack for two. So there's the third land. Very good one as well. Let's play our anvil. And then make it disappear. Alright. One tag for two. And we'll hold up our desk. Opponent plays a field of ruin and casts Jace the Perfected Mind. A plus onto the wormlet. And we'll crack our desk. We have Baseyu and Takanuma. Let's take our Takanuma. We'll play our land. And I think here we cast Rusty. We have a decent likelihood of hitting a land. There we go. It triggers the Wormlet. And allows us to play our Harvester. And we'll pass. They're going to plus one their Jace onto the Teething Wormlet. And they cast a fairy who slows the sunset. So you're gonna untap their Skybridge Towers. We hit a Fable of the Mirror Breaker off of Rusty, and we draw an Anvil. Let's get our Oni Cult Anvil down. And we can play and unearth our desk to get our anvil triggers this turn. So let's do that. We hit a vat of rebirth, so let's go for that. And here, I think we have to take out Teferi. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Tranquil Cove. They plus Jace onto the Teething Wormlet. Go to attacks and pass. Upkeep, Rusty triggers, and we hit an Atrox out of the graveyard. Let's cast our Vat of Rebirth before combat. The opponent casts Memory Deluge, so they didn't even let me wonder to myself if it was going to be a Wandering Emperor. So we'll go 6 at Jace, 1 at them. And let's cycle our blood token. We discard this Black Cleave Cliffs. Triggers the bat, triggers the anvil, triggers the worm. Do we keep our anvil here just in case they play farewell next turn? I think we do. Because we have a huge amount of pressure on board if they don't deal with what they or what we have already, they're just dead. Staff of Completion, huh? And Ossification. They're gonna Ossification targeting my Wormlet. Ah. 
Let's go to my turn. Rusty triggers. We hit a land. And we get a lily. Let's go to attacks. We'll attack in with everybody. So opponent goes to nine. Really want to get that anvil out. I think here we are going to crack this for a black. that we'll play our second handful because I didn't realize I was one short so now we'll fling that one put our fourth counter on the bat of rebirth then we'll reanimate a Troxa we'll refill our hand just in case opponent does have a farewell. So we'll grab a desk, wormlet, cycling land, and obnixilis. And we'll pass the turn. Opponent casts experimental augury. And they concede. GG's. Next game, this hand looks pretty solid. We can start it out with the Xander's Lounge, turn two Copperline Gorge into an Anvil, and then Fable on three. So, real solid curve. Opponent plays Rafine's Tower. And we'll get our anvil on the field, and we'll pass. Opponent plays Seacrone Coast, and passes. Let's get our Fable down. And we'll pass. Opponent plays Deserted Beach, passes. I think here we're just going to discard our land war wastes. I want to keep the fourth land so we can play our anvil. Ooh, that. That's really good. So we'll play our land. And let's play an anvil here. I think next turn is going to be the vat turn. We'll attack for two here. Make a treasure, and hopefully they don't block or kill it. Perfect. Let's cast this with casualty. Sacrificing our shaman. We'll get two anvil triggers to make two 1-1 one -one constructs. And opponent casts Union of the Third Path. So they're going to draw a card, gain 5 life. I'm going to make a devil. And plus 1 the token. And they discard an Adakar Wastes. And we'll pass. Opponent plays land number four and passes the turn. Fable goes up to stage three and flips. Let's go to combat. And we'll attack for three here. And 
play our Haunted Ridge and a Vat of Rebirth. Let's plus one our OBS before I forget about it. And we'll activate one of these anvils, sacrifice off the construct, triggers the bat, and then triggers both of the anvils. I think here we'll pass. And then memory deluge. I didn't really want to run Lily into a counter spell like that, especially if it's a planeswalker against a control deck like this. Our obs are doing well, but if we can resolve our Lily... Yeah, that's just enough hand disruption to make any control player cry. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.